This is how my new test setup for shaft power looks like. And now it operates. This video is about my test setup for measurement of torque speed characteristics of some electric motors. It can be used to know more about shaft power output of a motor and the efficiency of it. The quality of the motor depends how efficient it can convert input power to mechanical power. This is not something that is trivial. Some motors are good, some are bad. This is a universal motor for a sewing machine. You can see it's fixed on the top by a clamp here. Then a roller is attached. It is made of plywood and in here there is some fixing to the shaft. Uh, in my case I have used some tape uh, to make uh, a tight fix. Uh, but uh, maybe you can find something else to do. Then you got this webbing here uh, for friction. It's a 20 millimeter wide cotton webbing. And cotton is used because it withstands heat very much because you get heat generated when you have the friction here. In order to measure the torque I got a weight here on the right side and it constitutes how much force there will be on the right side. And on the left side I got a spring dynamometer upside down to measure the force in the other direction. And uh, when you subtract this and you know the radius, you can calculate the torque. Uh, here you see the guide for the webbing. So the webbing is not allowed to slip to uh, one or the other side of the roller. I got some material down here below the motor in order to adjust the angle of uh, the motor. And that's also to adjust how uh, the webbing slides upon the roller, uh, so you don't get too much friction in uh, uh, going on uh, to the sides of this guide. You need to be able to measure the speed of the motor, and you can do that with a digital tachometer. You can get them quite cheap, uh, and they uh, measure it optically uh, with some mark on the wheel there. I don't have that. I use a DC, small DC motor like this and hold it on here and then I measure the voltage coming from the motor. And with a calibration uh, you know how much speed uh, you will have by that. This setup works reasonable up to a shaft power of 20 watt and then uh, you can operate it continuously. I have measured shaft power of 55 watt and uh, when you got that then within 15 seconds you will start to smell burnt cotton from this. So you need to be fast with the measurements uh, when you get to higher power. You can also apply some cooling air or perhaps make uh, the dimension bigger in order to be able to measure higher power. To measure the weight, I use a kitchen weight like this. It uh, is quite accurate. Then I use an old multimeter for measuring current and voltage and so on. Uh, I also got uh, this uh, other digital dynamometer and these two correspond very well within 0.2% of the scale. Over here I got a sensor for real power to measure real AC power. Some effort is needed to calibrate your instruments. Of course it's best to use traceable calibration, but that is expensive. So therefore it's a good idea to compare different kinds of instruments. Like here uh, I got this digital dynamometer I can compare with this kitchen weight and I know that one liter of water weighs about one kilogram. That's also a way to, to make sure that your instruments is measuring okay.
This is some results I got from this test setup of uh, four Turing machine motors.